Hey everyone. So I am super excited. I finished my um, 2013 December daily album. Um, I didn't want it to say December daily. I just don't like that phrase for some reason on the front of a book. So um, I saw this really cute idea on Pinterest. This is not my original idea with the scattered um, letters. I wish it was, but it's not. Um, and so I totally copied that. I don't know who did it. I just remember seeing it. So um, I can't really give credit to who did it, but if it's you, let me know and I will tag you below. So then I just added some um, ribbons, a cute little tree, and 2013 so I knew which album it was. So I plan on doing this um, for the years to come and I'm really proud of myself because I am not really a start and finish kind of girl. If you know me at all, it's very difficult for me. I start lots of projects and have a hard time following through with them. So let's get started. This is just going to be a really quick post. It doesn't have a lot of stamping. It has a little bit of stamping, um, not a whole lot. I wanted it to be super simple and quick and I didn't want a whole lot of um, stuff going on. So I just made like a little shaker page for something fun. I did stamp um, some big huge snowflakes. These snowflakes will not be coming out until the end of 2014. So if you're seeing this, you are seeing a huge sneak peek. Um, I don't even think my design team have seen this. So a huge sneak peek of some stamps coming out. Okay, so my day one is we went and did the giving tree. That's a little Liberty and picking out a, um, a name. Um, okay, so day two, I went into the hospital surgery. This was one of my favorite photos from my surgery. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, right there. Right before I went in, it says, feel free to do a little lipo while you're in there. I had to have, um, they found cancerous cells, and so I had to have a, a full hysterectomy, um, which was kind of a downer for us because we really did want one more child, but it wasn't in God's plans, so we were all right with that. So in the, I was in the hospital um, day two, day three, and day four, and this actually inside opens up, so those are the other pictures in the story of why I was in the hospital. Okay, so um, day five, I came home from the hospital. Um, my neighbors brought me flowers, this beautiful arrangement here. I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this um, beautiful arrangement oops, of flowers and holly. Oh, it was smelled so yummy, just like Christmas. And um, my sweet friend... Susan asked me what my favorite dessert was and of course it's the peanut butter bars from school when you were a kid so she made me some of those and um, they were yummy so I had to write yum on the side of course okay and then um, oh this is still day five this is my mom isn't she adorable and um, in her apartment and uh, dishing up some food and my friend Susan brought me some little um, a little treat box that she made with hot chocolate because she knows I am infatuated with peppermint and candy canes and so she brought those and a little handmade gift it was sweet um, okay so day six trimming the tree the photo of uh, the tree after it was done day seven Keisha I hope that's how you, you pronounce your name. I always say it that way. It's probably Kasha um, from Canada. She sent me this adorable peppermint package for Christmas. I'm not kidding you. I hoarded this for such a long time because it was peppermint Oreos and she had made some yummy popcorn which was gone with my family within one day. I seriously was so sad when that was gone. It was so yummy. And um, she gave me some nail polish and just, it was, it was such a sweet, sweet gift. Um, Little Liberty up here helped me open the package. And my same friend Susan brought over um, a snowflake ornament. She knows I love snowflakes. And a homemade caramel apple. I have the best friends in the whole world. 
Um, day eight, Stretch here became an Eagle Scout. He did such an amazing job. He uh, worked really, really hard and we were really, really proud of him. And then there's my dad, which we call Poppy, and my mom, who we call Graham. And you can see Stretch is smiling huge. So that was day eight. Okay, so for day nine, this is our day nine. Um, this is a Scandinavian Santa that we have had since I was like super, super, super little. Um, before I think I was even born, my grandma worked at Rhodes, which was in California. It's kind of like Nordstrom's. I don't even know if they still have Rhodes. Maybe they do. Um, department store and she got it. When we were growing up, we always loved the Santa, but he scared me. Like, he literally scared me when I was a child. So I call him Scary Santa now. And my kids love it. We put it out on, on the corner of our stairs um, every Christmas. And I don't know. He's the scariest looking Santa I've ever seen. But I adore him. Okay, so for day 10, um, I had some two-day-old peppermint ice cream from Maverick. I am a peppermint freak, which I said before. And I had some ice cream in there and my stomach wasn't feeling so good for my surgery and all I was craving was peppermint ice cream and um, I remembered I had this in there from two days ago. Yes, I know that's kind of gross, but I loved it and it was wonderful. So yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so day 11 is Little Liberty here. She made a little dog house for Pearl in this little box that my um, Auntie Sherry had sent all of our Christmas gifts from California, California Rogers, to us. And uh, they were playing inside that. There's all the story. Day 12, I was home alone for the first time watching Christmas movies by myself. Everybody else was gone. Uh, my parents had taken the kids out. And I made this cute little um, glitter pocket here. Let's see if you can see it. So there you go. And this is all glitter, which is kind of cool. This was, I saw this, it's not my original idea, um, also on Pinterest, but this was the biggest pain in the butt to make and the glitter went everywhere in my sewing machine. So I literally had to blow it out. Um, okay, so day 13. One of Liberty's favorite things to do during the holidays is dress up. Um, we always do the nativity at the end of the year. So she was playing in the dress up clothes and she dressed up as Mary and wore it all day long. So, um, and the star continues on the back, which I love. Day 14, Stefan, my husband, um, Mr. Taz, got me some Uggs for my feet because they kept getting cold, so he ordered them from Zappos for me. Um, and also, my brother brought home the absolute biggest pizza I had ever seen in my whole life. I can't remember. I think it was something like 24 inches. Um, some... One had ordered it down at the pizza place and then never came and picked it up. And so when he went in, he knows the guys really well. And they're like, hey, we'll give you this pizza for a discounted price. And he's like, all right. So he took it and brought it home. And it was great, but the guys ate pizza for like a week, um, which they loved, obviously. But Okay, D15. Stretch it's right there. The little tiny speck. I don't know if you can see him. There's kind of a glare. Um, he was singing in our um, church choir. And Libby was fixing one of her hair bows using some glue dots. Day 17, we had family night. Um, with our religion, we do family night one time a week. And this family night, we played Scrabble. Um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Scrabble. And Liberty did the word boot all by herself. And I wrote down how much, 28 points. She she got 28 points all by herself. I was so proud of her. So this is the little picture of her giving a little thumbs up right there. Let's see if you can see it a little better. There you go. All right. Um, oops. Then our Christmas card. This is our Christmas card right here. I'm going to cover it. I don't want everybody to know my address. There we go. And I placed that in there because day 18, we did, um, mailed out all of our Christmas cards. And also the iPad was the babysitter for day 18. 
Okay, so D19, Christmas cookies. It's tradition in our family. We always make Christmas cookies during Christmas time. So grandma invited um, the cousins over and made Christmas cookies and that was really fun to watch. Now remember, I had surgery and I couldn't walk or do anything for six weeks. So it was really awesome that my mom made sure to involve me in everything and um, made it so that I could be there um, whenever they did anything pretty much as, as best as she could. Um, okay, so day 20. My parents, um, we always have a tradition of going to the Nutcracker Ballet every year. So they wanted to make sure that the kids still got to go to the Nutcracker. And um, they took the two kids. And this pulls down and it's journaling. So that's kind of fun. Day 21, snow, snow, snow. There was so much snow. So here's little Liberty watching Mr. Taz, Stefan right there, um, doing the, the uh, walkway putting down some ice melt. Day 22, our amazing friend Christine sent the kids um, stretch a little hacky sack that she had made. We love handmade gifts. So hacky sack, and then she made Liberty a um, memory game, and it has English on one item and then German on the other, and Liberty loves it. She colored it, and we play it constantly all the time. I don't know if we're pronouncing the words correctly, but she still loves it. And then also um, on day 22, her friend um, Jada from down the street brought her a present and she was excited. Um, it was a Little Mermaid Barbie that was a ballerina. Yeah, so that was huge. Um, day 23, Liberty and the kids got to go play outside in the snow. Um, day 24, Christmas Eve. Everybody gets together for Christmas Eve um, breakfast and brunch at my parents' house. My brother Jared and uh, Liberty and two of my brothers, my other brother's um, kids were getting a piggyback ride on his back or a horsey ride, whatever you call it. And then we did, like I said, we always do the nativity. So the grandkids dressed up as the nativity. And if you look really closely, baby Jesus is Pearl, our dog. Liberty insisted and it was hysterical and we all loved it and I am so grateful for that memory. It was awesome. Um, on Christmas Eve, we always get pajamas. So these were my Christmas jammies and then here is Stretch and Liberty's jammies. Um, Christmas, Stretch opened. He got a brand new saxophone. He plays a saxophone and he really needed a new one um, to upgrade him. He's going to be going on tour with his um, Caleb Chapman band music, and he really needed a new instrument for that and school. They both got some sleds. Liberty gave Stretch a Lego, and then Liberty got um, three sets of Barbie dolls, but they are the Disney Princess Collection, so that it's like, um, let's see, who is this? Oh, like Cinderella and then the prince so that they all had ones that went together. Um, day 26, we went out to um, Brick Oven for dinner because nobody wants to cut the day after Christmas. At least we don't in our family. We're, we're about tired. So Grandma and Pop took us out to um, Brick Oven. Day 27, we did pretty much nothing but hung around the house. Stretch um, also got a DS 3D and he vegged and played that a lot. Oops. I need to fix that. Put some glue on there. Day 28, I went to the American Craft Sale. This was their warehouse sale. It was awesome. There was so much stuff there. And I've actually got, I went back a couple times for my design team and a couple times for myself. Um, but this day killed me. The next day I was so sore from walking around because I was there for such a long time and I really shouldn't have been walking around like that. But it was totally worth it. I got some great supplies. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is I am a huge... Christmas card freak like especially the ones with pictures or handmade Christmas cards I adore them so I made a Christmas card pocket right here 
and it just opens right here and then has like a little bit of um, magnet right there and then they all just kind of slip in here it's my sweet friend Annie her kids and their family so they're all in this pocket um that I just made for the back of the book and one thing I do is when I get a Christmas card I don't want her you to see her address but um when I get a Christmas card when it comes in the envelope if it does not have the address on the Christmas card I take the corner part of the envelope off and I flip it over and I tape it to the back of the card and that way I always have the, um, um, their address for the next year, which I think is a brilliant idea. Okay, and then um, the Christmas cards that didn't fit, for instance, like um, this is Lisa Burnson's card that she had sent me, but it's a really long card. Lisa and her cute family, I love her. Um, so I just poke some holes and put that right there. And um, of course I, I have her address. I can go to her house anytime I want. Um, she doesn't live too far away. So I, but I, you know, put the address on the back of each card no matter what it is. So I put that in the back of the book for next year. So I always remember who I need to send cards to. And also it's really fun to look back over the years and um, kind of have those memories to, to look at. So, that is my little um, December daily book. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this book. I hope that um, it maybe gave you a little bit of an idea of if you're doing a December daily album right now. Um, the tip I would do, this is how I did it and I really enjoyed it because I heard so many people say they were so stressed out about their December daily album and that they didn't actually really enjoy it, which to me is so sad because what's the point in doing it if you really don't enjoy it, right? What I did was I took pictures every single day and um, I, for instance, I wrote down like um, right here for Liberty, we did the, um, the giving tree, which was the day before my surgery, so, so I made sure I had this already planned. Um, I took a picture and then I wrote down the giving tree. Number one, get the giving tree. And then on day two, all I did was have this little tiny notebook that says number two um, hospital, you know, number three hospital, number four hospital. And I just made sure every day to take a picture. Then, so January came around and of course everything's slowed down from the holidays and you know, everything kind of like, I don't know, it kind of gets more, I kind of get a little melancholy in, in January because I feel like there's so much going on in December. So in January, I um, ordered all my pictures and then I started, um, I took the little cards like these, so I knew this was gonna go here and started writing about the picture or whatever. And, um, and then I just put my book together and I really had fun with it. Like I didn't, it, to me it didn't matter too much if this was gonna clash with this. I just made sure that I kept it a similar um, color scheme throughout the whole entire book. Cause I figured, ah, eh, it's gonna be, you know, close enough. I don't care if the pages are exactly perfect. You know, it doesn't bother me that I have dots and stripes together. You know, that that's what makes a book a book, right? Um, but I did it in, January so that I wasn't stressed out during the month of December and so I finished this um, probably about two weeks ago and I I thoroughly enjoyed it like I will totally do it the exact same way next year because um, come time in January there's I feel like I want to do a project because um, life slows down and this is the perfect thing to do. So as long as you make little notes of what happened during December, it doesn't get so overwhelming. So I hope this inspired you guys to go and create something that is perfectly imperfect. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.